Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dan Harper Realtor. Well, today I'm at a beautiful community called Century Oaks Estate, located right off Evans Road. We're about a mile west, uh, I'm sorry, mile east of the uh, resort community of Cibolo Canyons to give you some perspective where we are. Uh, it's a great community, especially if you want something a little bit quieter than other communities and still giving you easy access to everything in the greater San Antonio area. This house is just over 4,000 square feet. It is a four bedroom, three and a half bath house built in 2014 by Genuine Custom Homes. Let's go check it out. Loving the detail that they put on this house and the landscaping. Definitely got that uh, Texas Hill Country theme going. Does have sprinkler systems. You can see the heads there and that's the lot next to it that is for sale but definitely got some neat colors on this house, metal roof. And for those of you looking for that double door, there it is. Let's head on inside. All right. Right when you come in, you notice uh, some of the detail work. It doesn't have the big grand opening as some houses that are built a little more modern right now but it's still very well done do have your formal dining room right up front and checking out the detail they've done on the roof line digging the floors we got a nice a little mixture of uh wood flooring just breaking it up a little bit but this is the main uh, living room area with a big tv tall ceilings and of course a fireplace now when i say it's not a completely open concept because uh the kitchen's not right in the same great room so let's walk around to the kitchen and eating area so you got your breakfast nook and uh here is your kitchen a little bit separated, but not so bad. I want to step back here just so you can see this view. But there's your eating area. And this is a two-story home. We did have three, bed three bedrooms upstairs and a kind of neat little play area I want to show you in a little bit. But we do have some nice cabinetry work. We do have a pot filler and a nice KitchenAid uh, oven. I mean, a stove top. Needs a little bit of cleaning, but this is a pre-existing home. Dual ovens made by KitchenAid and your built-in microwave. But it does have the upgraded cabinetries where you got the little peekaboo cabinets in there. Nice uh, farmhouse sink. And we've got to check out the pantry here. All right, pretty good sized pantry. All right, right off of the, the dining area, you do have another little movie setup section. I don't see any built-in speakers, but uh, shoot, with some of the small speakers they have now, you don't need the built-ins, but you can easily mount a projector right behind you if you wanted to go that route and put some other speakers out here. This would be a great room for those Apple Pod speakers, the bigger ones, not the little small ones. But since we're down here, let's go check out the outside because I'm doing this video because I do have an out-of-state client who's looking for something that has a really nice outdoor oasis. And you've got tall ceilings. We've got two fans out here. Nice little entertainment area. Um, the pool, I like to have a buyer put there by uh, Keith Czar's pool. They're a pretty popular pool manufacturer, so uh, getting a pretty quality pool out there. And we'll get to that pool in a second, but I want to show off this little entertainment area they've got built in. You do have your outdoor fireplace. They put a, hopefully it's an outdoor rated TV. And like I said, more fans located right there. 
help me out in the comments what do you think this little pad here is for i mean it's got this old gravel pad and i'm not sure what what that could be used for so i'm actually asking for help i don't know what that's for but uh beautiful outdoor area lots of very mature oak trees let's go check out this pool All right, we have a pool hot tub combo. Like I said, this lot is a uh, one and a quarter acre, so it does go back quite a bit further that direction. See a little squirrely playing in the rocks back there. So definitely gonna have plenty of privacy out here. Well, you got your one neighbor over there. And no neighbors on the other side because that lot is uh for sale right now but just beautiful trees out here this is on a septic i see the septic system kind of hidden away over there don't be afraid of septics uh they do require a little bit more maintenance than uh if you're on like city sewage but it, it don't let that ever be a deal breaker for choosing a house or not we are in Bear County still um, because, yeah, we're right off Evans Road. Uh, excuse me, I came out this door. Like the fact they're eight foot doors. All right, let's go ahead and head upstairs before we check out the owner suite. I want to show you off these three bedrooms and. Uh, this little bonus thing. I do like the fact they got these little night lights on the stairs. So you can leave, the, and they're on an independent switch. So you can just leave those on just in case you needed to go downstairs and you want to leave the lights on. So these are the secondary bedrooms. Let's check out the closet space. Oh, we got to tell go up there. I'm not going to even try to open the door. I don't want to risk getting that damaged. All right. Oh, a lot of storage in there. But it's a big closet. All right. Here's that bonus room section I was talking about. They got their computer set up on this. These little built-in office. Check this out. You can tell they're using this as a kid play area with a stage it's kind of neat but if you're an adult and you don't have kids living with you you can do whatever you want with this make it a crafts room a game room whatever but uh i'll do like the stage thing got some stuff going on man they really really did this up my daughter would love having this that's her play area and surprisingly clean Kudos to the owners of this house for keeping it that clean. My girl uh, hasn't learned the value of picking up after herself just yet. All right, let's do a little view from the top of the kitchen area. All right, we do have some steps to go up to the uh, bathrooms that uh, whoever's living up here would be sharing. Well, I said three bedrooms. I think this is just two bedrooms, actual bedrooms up here. So I wonder whose bedroom this is. <laughs> Check out the size of the closet. I'm trying to respect their privacy. Oh yeah, good size closet there. So yeah, up here we have two bedrooms and the play area with the shared bathroom. All right, let's head on back downstairs. All right, we are back downstairs in the kitchen area. We do have a powder room for the general public whenever you're hosting. 
They've gone with some diff interesting colors. Look, a little nautical theme going on here. Oops, helps if I turn this light on as well. Oops. There we go. Brightens things up a little bit. Here is another bedroom where they're using it obviously for a workout room. It's got some, the built in desk. At least I'm pretty sure that's a built in. No, it's not a built in, it's just a giant desk setup. But a full shower. This would be a perfect room if you had those long term guests because we do have other closets here. Pay no attention to this because that can go. Really nice shutters set up. And a good size closet. All right, we're heading, we're near the garage. And of course, you got the mud room we just saw. Here's the laundry room. It does have the sink, plenty of room for your, uh, high efficiency washer and dryer and cabinets. Let's do a quick peek at the garage because that's really important to a lot of folks. This is a three car garage. They've already got the sealant stuff on the floor. You see they have plenty of room for their car and lots of storage space back behind it. Does have a water purification system. Let's see who's built that one. Oh, by John Wayne. Okay, they're a plumbing company around here but it also has a uh, water, um, tankless water heater. All right, coming back into the mud room. That's just a closet, no need to look at that. I do like the feel of this hallway. Just so you know where we are, there's the dining room, there's the front door again. That first living space as you come in. But we're going back to the owner suite now. Like I said, eight foot doors throughout this house. The high end upgraded shutters throughout the house. Nice tray ceiling, plenty of space in this bedroom. And yeah, they went with a little more of that uh, nautical blue in here. If it's not, not your cup of tea, paint's cheap and you can redo it. Got some built-in uh, cabinets there. Don't want to show all that stuff off. But you do have your water closet. Big baseboards. I love a big baseboard. Large soaking tub with the jets. We do have the rain glass, so your bits and pieces aren't being able to be seen by, well, that now empty lot next door. But a good size shower. And they kept, uh, how many heads they got there? Trying to see a little bit of a glare. Okay, just one shower head. Just trying to see if they had more than one. Master bedroom closet, very important for folks. Uh, lots of storage tables up there, but uh, I wouldn't say this is the biggest closet. You can tell it's filled up pretty quickly. And uh, it does not look like there was another closet in here. So that closet not, might not be big enough for some folks. Yeah, you can tell they like being at the ocean. One last little walk around, lots of light in here. And that's gonna be west out there. So yes, the sun will be setting on this back part of the house, but you do have lots and lots of oak trees out there providing some shade for you. All right, that's gonna wrap up tour of this beautiful home built by Genuine Custom Homes in 2014 in the Century Oaks Estates, just off of Evans Road, in between uh, the Bracken area and uh, Cibolo Canyons. 
So you do have easy access if you wanted to just go down Evans Road to get to Bolverde Road, Stone Oak, all that is, isn't too far away either. And the Shirt Symbol area and Randolph Air Force Base is just down the road as well. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the tour. And if you did, make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, for my client who I'm doing this video for, let me know what you think. I'm here to help. All right, that's it for now. Take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.